I want to welcome you to IART on behalf of the management, particularly the executive director, Professor Veronica Obatulu. IART is a multi commodity research institute under the Barfen Awolo University in southern Nigeria. So on behalf of the executive uh, director and management of IRT, I want to welcome you to this great uh, institute. Without wasting time, I want to start the opening ceremony so that we can start the lecture proper. Because you have a lot to learn within this uh, two days workshop. So I want to enjoy it attentive and be free to visit our facilities. The lecture, an overview of our micro livestock uh, production. We have a two, is two in one program. The one, first one is grass water production. So we have micro livestock. When you are talking about micro livestock, it is comprised of the snail. The snail, as you can see. We have the grass water. We have the rabbits. That's what we refer to as micro livestock. Grass water, snail, and uh, rabbits. That's what we want to discuss. So, we have a uh, point of talking about macro life, that is a big, big animal. We have, I still refer to as micro. Then we have the, we call it unconventional life form again. That's a macro, that's a big one. That's a cartoon, that's poetry. That's what we call the macro. So, talking about micro livestock, it has some unique benefits compared to macro livestock, like snail, grass water, rabbits. The first one is that it can be started with low capital. The snail, the grass water, the rabbits, even with less than uh, uh, 50,000, 25,000, you can start the business. That's uh, my micro livestock. Compared to cattle, sheep, and goats, even uh, when you're talking about cattle, what we call less than 1,800 or 200,000. With 200,000, I think you can have, you, you can rear up to 50 or 100 rabbits. And if it is snail, we'll be talking about thousands. Therefore, IRRT, Institute of Agricultural Research and Training, Obama Family, Awolowo University. We are for farmers. And incidentally, our coverage is in Southwest. And not only Southwest, in other parts of Nigeria. And not only in that part of Nigeria, Africa and beyond. We have one of services. And what is our service? As the Institute implies, agriculture. And what is agriculture? Agriculture is the mainstay of any government. And in the past, you know it was our main economy, the source of our economy. But because we derailed from agriculture, and that's the the reward we are seeing today that things are just upside down. But thank God, God is helping us. And you know, at the beginning also, the only job God gave to mankind is what? Family. To be dressing the garden, the garden of Eden, where he kept. So we took, take dominion over every animal in the bush, the birds in the air. And even the fishes in the ocean, 
and that is our assignment. And now that we are back to our origin, which is agriculture, because situation around us is telling us that we just have no option that we go to start practicing agriculture, and we are here. Through agriculture, we can do, we can make exploits. Through agriculture, I don't know anybody on that that will exist in that agriculture. Either you are practicing it, or you are transferring it, or you are selling, or you are processing along the kind of value chain from A to Z. One way or the other, you will be part of it. Even if you are not practicing, if you are not producing, you will go and buy to eat. Because nobody on that can exist without food. And that is why we must take agriculture a, a very important and paramount to our existence. And so I want to congratulate everyone that is here. On behalf of the director, Professor Veronica Obatun, that you are welcome to IRT, and I congratulate you for being counted worthy. We're supposed to be full in this hall, if not for the situation on ground, that is COVID-19. As a result of that, we need to downsize so that we are COVID-19 compliant. And as you are here, you are fortunate you are here. Please spread the information you are gathering today. Don't keep it to yourself. If you keep it to yourself, then you are not the owner. You have not gotten anything. Because when you spread it, when you disseminate it through practicing, you practice and you are profitable in it, then you tell it abroad. Tell others. Others will come and uh, join too. Today, we are going to be technically empowering you. And we say that knowledge is power. And I can see the, the school book is too, the students from secondary school. And as it is, uh, they are early exposure to this. I know you have a precaution, you do have a precaution in your school. This one, you also came to an additional exposure. To be able to see it practically, to be able to know more. Knowledge is power. We are all fortunate to be here. And uh, though it is free, our aim is that we will be able to practicalize it. It's not difficult. In the course of the training of today and tomorrow, we will notice that it's not difficult. Please, how many of us here are keeping rabbits? Can you just move your hand? You have rabbits. You have rabbits at home. Yeah. You have grass water. Grass water. Can you move your hand? What of snake? Do you keep snake? Okay. So we have. We have some water that are having some business. Now those of us that are not, it is good for us to practicalize it. We are in your house. Um, it's, it's very easy. And I know that at the end of this training, we will gain a lot. That we see that my whole livestock farming is the simplest, is the cheapest. Also keeps there and uh, things that we keep them. Economically, okay, then it will have it also. It's not like the other one that consumes a lot of food. So, I mean, the cost of the food. So, at the end of the day, you are going to pay. So, let us particularize it. Let us see how we can put this thing into the as I have said. So, on this note, I want, and I want you to be free, even to students to be free, ask questions. Let each, each and every one of us say, ask questions because it's an opportunity. Today we are trying to train our farmers, intending farmers and some of, the, uh, some of our students in adopted villages, adopted schools, on how to succeed in micro livestock production, especially in disease management. When you talk about the management practices, so like if you want to source for this micro livestock, you contact the Institute of Agricultural Research and Training, more plantation Ibadan. Though we still have other farmers 
elsewhere that we have trained and we have other people that are doing it but if you need the so if you want to buy just contact us at the institute of agricultural research and training